How goes it people? I'm Ian, this is Hammers Bowls, and this week I've been asking fans, with the club crying out for a striker, is Mark Arnautovic an option for David Moyes? Let's take a look and see what everyone thinks. And if you enjoy the show, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hey everybody, this is Sally from American Hammers TV. Uh, I think bringing back Marko Natovic uh, would be a brilliant idea. Um, you know, I think for one, it, it fills a position of need for the club. Um, I know he definitely didn't leave on the best of terms, but you know, he's a very talented striker. You know, I don't think he's afraid of any you know backline in the Premier League. He's proven you know that he can do the job, um, especially as a lone striker. Um, so I think bringing him back would definitely bring back a lot of positives. You know, hopefully the locker room stuff, you know, they can put that to bed. Um, you know, he'll definitely be in with the new team, which is, you know, really interesting with the only being different about two seasons apart, you know, but you have a bunch of new players in there. But uh, no, I'd, I'd bring him back. If he wanted to come, um, I'd be willing to take him. So, all right. So the question this week is, uh, do we get an out of itch back in the January window? My answer is no, a definite no. I think it would be a bad apple for the team. Uh, it's very rare that returning players do really well at the club. So I would say no. But what's come on today is De Costa from um, Atletico Madrid and who was at Chelsea has been a free agent. He's left Atletico Madrid. They've terminated his contract. Now, what, for whatever reason that is, I don't know. But I think... He would be a great acquisition to the club. He is someone we should think about. You know, really think about. Um, the legalities as in the wages and um, how long for, that's a different kettle of fish. But you could entice him to come for six months, surely, with the potential of giving him a full contract at the end of the season. Now, he would bully up front and he knows where the goal is. And he may work well with Allah. Allah may work well off of him. But it would make Haller pull his socks up. Truly, I think it would. Because it would give him some proper, proper centre-forward competition. And Antonio, obviously, but he's a bit injury-prone at the minute. And again, we don't know when he's coming back. So, Arnautovic, definite no-no. Let him rot in China. Um, De Costa, I think, is a definite yes. Should go out and buy him. Well, not buy him, he's a free agent, so go out and get him. That's what I think. All right, come on, let's beat Southampton away tonight. Tough game, but you never know. All right, happy new year to you all. Keep wearing your colours with pride. All right, see you later. Up the hammers. Come on, you odds. Do I want an out of each back at the club? Absolutely not. Uh, for most for people wondering who's the biggest snake out of Pyatt and an out of each, an out of each of 100%. I've got no respect for Pyatt since he wanted to leave and whatever, but at least he didn't do it while continuously saying, I'm staying, I'm staying, I'm staying. Anyone remember, remember that um, celebration he done against Wofford Wats when he done that? Put it into the ground saying, I'm here. Um, and then, of course, said he was staying and whatever. His brother was still in the background trying to look for deals to go to China, etc. And then, um, and then he pestered West Ham for a new contract. You know, 100 grand a week, whatever, whatever, yeah. And then done another video after the <laughs> the classic Wimbledon defeat where he said, um, I'm here, I'm here to stay with West Ham fans, I'm here, I'm your player, I'm not going anywhere, I'm here to stay, everything is sorted, I'm here to stay. Six months later, over to China. So he's one of the biggest snakes with a road at the club. Um, yes, okay, ability wise, it suit our system, he'd be a very good player for us, but where's the pride? All I've ever known my Stan fans for is about pride. You know, would we really take someone back like him just because he plays well? Come on, think about it. Yeah, and our bitch can rot in China for a while, okay? See you later, mate. So, question for this week is Should we bring Arnautovic back? Obviously, there's lots, you know, lots of transfer speculation. Um, we need a goal scorer as good as Antonio has been for us. And um, there's no denying that at the moment. He's in and out with injury. Um, so 
they're looking for a striker and should we bring Arnautovic back? Simple answer is no. That's it. The answer is no. It doesn't matter to me how good he was when he played for us. You know, everyone will talk and say, but what if we get Arnautovic? He comes back. What if we get that same Arnautovic? The one who... And he knuckles down and he just cracks on with the game. The thing is, you're never going to get that iron out of it. You're never going to get an iron out of it. That he's going to give you 100% week in, week out. And not give you any drama off the field with his brother. Let's face it, he's not going to sack his brother as an agent. Um, And even if he did, he's not going to stop his brother from shouting his mouth off. Asking for this wage, that wage. Um... So, yeah, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference whether Arnie would be willing to come back, whether the board would even consider having him back, the manager, the players. You know, you've got to take all that into account. Which they're talking at the moment, the club are, about how good the team spirit is. Now, could you imagine signing him and telling the, telling the players who a lot was, were there when he was there, and tell them he's coming back. Um, you know, forgive and forget, crack on. It ruins the team spirit. It ruins the team spirit. You get all that stuff off the, uh, you know, you get all that stuff from off the pitch that goes with it. You know, you get the the Hammers fans. I'm back. All that bollocks I'm sorry that, to me fantastic footballer for us you know did amazing in games but the stroppiness the attitude um, no you know I'd much rather us go go out get Josh King and look for another striker as well Obviously, we need funds for that, and that would mean we need to get rid of somebody. And unfortunately, Alea don't fit the system. Now, Alea would fit the system if you played if you play him up top with Antonio. You've got somebody there, you know, or even up top with Bowen, you know, and just play them together because we saw against Southampton what Alea can do. When he's got somebody he can link up with, you know. If if you've got that many people, if if he's got people that he can work with, people who are going to run for him, he should be doing something. And at the moment, he's not. So we've got to look and say, well, is he the right man for the club? And unfortunately, the answer is no. So we've got to look, and it's like, well, who do you bring in? The answer is I don't know. You know, you've got that Simmer, who's at Slavia Prague. You know, Suchek Kufal might be able to get in to come in, help him settle in, do a job. Question is, how much do Slavia Prague want? An even bigger question is, would the board be willing to pay for it? Now, I've seen reports saying that because we're over halfway to 40 points that they might not be interested in spending in the January window. If that's the case, then <laughs> reiterate what everyone else has said. Get out of our club. You know, I'm not fans of them anyway. Get them gone. You know, sell up. Get out. At the end of the day, the club is it, the club needs investing in. It needs investing in its training facilities. It needs investing in a good good scouting network and when you're in a position where you need players because of injuries like the left wing back situation don't get me wrong Ben Johnson did really well against Brighton he's got his first goal we all know Ben Johnson is a good prospect and he's, he's definitely one for the future but that position needs covering the left wing back situation um, you can't have Crest playing as well as what he has as left side of a back three and then go and play him at left back 
you know, disrupting a team formation, something that is working. So that place needs covering. We need a decent, decent backup for Rice and Suchek. You know, Nobes, I love him, absolutely love him. And he should always be in and around the team because he knows what it means to play for West Ham. Um, but he, he's now a player that comes on for the last 10 minutes to try and see a game out. Um, so we need cover there, but we definitely need strikers. Definitely need strikers. And Arnautovic just isn't the answer. That's my opinion anyway. Don't forget to like the channel, subscribe, like the video, retweet. Um, apologies for the setup, but um, finished night shift and I am getting ready to go sleep. But until the next one, come on you Irons. For West Ham fans everywhere, this is the ultimate football app for you. Never miss a thing with the latest West Ham news, gossip and social stories as they break. Download the free COY Irons app now from the App Store and Google Play.